saying this is just the tip of the iceberg, environmental activists are sounding the alarm as the number of contaminated wells in central Maine continues to rise. So far, 54 private wells in the towns of Fairfield and Unity Township have levels of PFAS chemicals above the EPA's advisory limit. The source of the toxic chemicals is believed to be biosolids used as fertilizer on farm fields for decades. Now, concerns are growing that that contamination could be much more widespread throughout the state. New Center Maine's Vivian Lee has our update. Some Fairfield residents will never forget the smell of wastewater sludge being dumped on farm fields near their homes more than 35 years ago. And we saw up in the fields there that there was still toilet paper and urine running out of the piles that they're dumping. And it all ran down the hill. Harrington tried to physically block trucks transporting the biosolids, but he was told the sludge was safe and approved by the state as free fertilizer for local farms, including the nearby 500-acre Tozier Dairy Farm. PFAS compounds were discovered in milk from the farm more than a year ago and pulled from the shelves. At the time when the sludge was spread, we had no idea what PFAS was and certainly did not know about the dangers of the chemicals. Tozier and other Fairfield residents testified earlier this week in support of two bills that would give Maine property owners more time to file lawsuits over chemical contamination. The 10th generation dairy and beef farm is believed to be the source of a growing number of contaminated private wells, with levels testing hundreds of times over federal safe limits for PFAS. The industrial compounds known as forever chemicals because they take years to break down in the body. And there's growing evidence linking PFAS to a number of health problems, from organ cancers to kidney dysfunction. Nathan Saunders believes his wife's kidney failure is connected to being exposed to high levels of PFAS in their drinking water for years. To keep her alive, she went on kidney dialysis for three hours per day, three times a week, eight months until we were fortunate enough that I was able to donate a kidney to her. Saunders recently filed a class action lawsuit alleging that Sappy North America's Somerset Mill in Skowhegan was a source of the contamination. Sappy has strongly denied that allegation. Advocates also plan to introduce a bill this session requiring state regulators to test other sites in Maine that have received sludge in the past. As we really need to begin to put together the entire list of impacted places uh, in order to be able to get a full sense of the problem. The Department of Environmental Protection is continuing to test private wells in Fairfield and Unity Township. Testing will begin in Benton next month. Water filtration systems are also being installed for impacted residents. In Fairfield, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine. And for more information on resources and contact information for state agencies involved in the investigation in Fairfield and other communities, you can go to our website and mobile app.